Welcome to the return of our Big 12 Picks. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the mighty Joe Yeager. Mighty Joe, man, start of another season. How you doing? Doing good. I'm undefeated. <laughs> Aren't we all? It's yeah. the best time of the year in that regard. Uh, you know what? There, obviously, there's, there's everybody's playing in the Big 12, but there are some lopsided games. There's some games that are, you know, really so lopsided that there isn't even really a spread. So let's just pick the five games that we know that, you know, that there is a spread. Uh, starting with the Thursday night game, Missouri State at Oklahoma State. The Cowboys are giving up 34 and a half. They're playing 7 o'clock Thursday night. Uh, we're picking the spread, for, I think, for the first time yeah. since we've been doing this here in the last five or six years. So that would be interesting. Who, who do you like, Joe? That's, yeah, man, that's a huge, huge number to start the season. I mean, you just never know what's going to happen. I, I'm taking Missouri State on that one. I'm going to take the Cowboys. I think they're still going to put up. They have a kind of something to prove and that, you know, they supposedly lost all, you know, all the stuff on offense. I think, you know, they're at home you know, and it's Missouri State. I think the Cowboys win by five touchdowns or more. All right. Next one, Saturday, Florida Atlantic at OU. The Sooners are 20 and a half uh, favorites against, what is it, the Owls yeah, Florida right, Atlantic. Right. Uh, that's 11 o'clock game. That's on Fox. Well, I love me some Florida Atlantic. I mean, don't get me <laughs> wrong here, but I mean, I, I was kind of shocked at how small that, that spread is, to be perfectly honest. I mean, maybe they know something about Florida Atlantic that I don't. Uh, but uh, shoot, man, going into Norman, uh, only two, three touchdowns is all you need to cover that spread. I'm taking Oklahoma. I'm going to go with the Owls, actually. You know, Florida Atlantic, you know, I mean, uh, you know, they have a different kind of coaching staff. I think Florida Atlantic's used to having. They have uh, better at, they've recruited better than Florida Atlantic probably ever has. Uh, so I, I think I'm going to go with the Owls. I think, I still think they're going to lose by 17 to 20 points, but I don't, I don't think uh, by three touchdowns. Uh, plus, OU may be, you know, trying to figure some things out at quarterback, too. So, all right. Uh, the next one is Texas, who is giving up 13 at Maryland, 11 a.m. on FSN1. Who do you like? Uh, taking Terrapins on that one. Yeah, I think yeah. I am too. I, I hope it's not our bias, or maybe our bias is showing here. But uh, no, I, I I think Miami beat them relatively recently when they or not Miami, uh, Maryland beat them relatively yes. recently when they played. So in Austin, no right, less. Yeah. That was a couple of years ago. So uh, you know, I mean, I know UT may be looking for payback or whatever, but I, I think Maryland might uh, at home might at least keep it close enough yeah. to to cover there. This is a good game. This is one of the better games of the week in the Big 12. West Virginia, who a lot of people have them as you know one of the better teams in the conference with Will Greer there at quarterback. They're giving up 10 at a neutral site um, in Charlotte, North Carolina versus Tennessee. What do you think about that one? Yeah, well, I mean, this is a situation where you got uh, two Big 12 teams favored over uh, two SEC teams right. uh, to start the season. That's yep. interesting. Uh, as to the question at hand, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take Tennessee in that one. And I really, uh, don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to. But uh, and I really respect uh, what Holgerson's done at West Virginia. I mean, that's that's a good club, and they're going to win a lot of games this year. Uh, but I still, I'm going to go with Tennessee on this one. I'm actually going to go with West Virginia. I think they're going to put up a lot of points. I think Tennessee's still a year or so away from kind of getting back. Uh, to where they want to be. I know they've been kind of building for a while, but new coach, all that. I think I think Holgerson and West Virginia start off on a, on a really good note there, win, win big. All right, last but not least, Ole Miss versus Texas Tech. Tech's giving up two points at NRG Stadium in Houston. That's 11 a.m. on ESPN. Who do you have, Mighty Joe? Drum roll. Ole Miss. Whoa, sorry, whoa, sorry, whoa. sorry, but I, I don't like the matchup, to be perfectly honest, wow. in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I think it's going to be probably a relatively high-scoring game, uh, but it may be quite high-scoring on Ole Miss's side, I'm afraid. They're going to have a hard time stopping that passing attack, and so uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Ole Miss. I'm actually going to take Tech. I think Tech wins the game. Um, I get your argument. And if it is a high-scoring game, this is once again, this is weird to say, I think that big-time favors Ole Miss. That's not what tech, how Tech wants to play specifically in this game. Um, but I do think – Ole Miss is going to have a hard time stopping Tech's run, and I think Tech's running game. And I think in the end, this, once again, this sounds crazy, but I think their physicality in the trenches on both sides of the ball, I think, are, is going to win the day. I think it's going to be a close game, but I think Tech pulls it out late with their running game and maybe a big turnover there at the end. But hey, my Joe, it'll be interesting to see. We definitely uh, disagreed on several of these, so yeah, we're yeah, going to have on one. Uh, we're going to have some big separation here, starting off in the first week, one way or the other. So uh, spread will do that to you. It's a little bit tougher true. picking against the spread. That's true, absolutely. But great stuff from you as always. Thank y'all for watching, and until next time.